I'm Marcy Miller, Executive Director of William King Museum of Art, and I want to tell you a little bit about our museum's history and the history of our building. Our story goes back nearly 250 years ago to 1769 when William King was born in King County, Ireland. When he was 15 years old, William left Ireland and came to Philadelphia, where he completed a five-year apprenticeship before continuing westward to Virginia's frontier and settling in Washington County, where in 1795 he purchased 150 acres of land in the Salt Lick area of the county and began the King Salt Works Company. When William King died at the age of 39, he was worth a million dollars. Two years earlier, he made a will which bequeathed to the Abingdon Academy $10,000 or land to that amount. In 1824, the Abingdon Male Academy built their school building at the top of this site, comprised of approximately 25 acres. By 1830, enrollment was over 40 students. During the Civil War, troops were billeted in the school, but the war took its toll on the building and in 1872, a new brick school building was erected. The academy continued until 1904 when, with the departure of its last principal, it closed the doors. In 1912, its trustees leased the property to the town of Abingdon in the Central School District of Washington County. The school board constructed a new brick school building in 1913 on the same site, using the same footprint as the academy building. The new public school was named William King High School, so that people, quote, may know that William King's memory still lives in the hearts of the people of Abingdon, unquote. This is the building that now serves as the museum facility. In 1947, a plaque was presented to the William King High School by Judge Preston Campbell, honoring the 17 former William King students who had lost their lives in World War II. The 1913 building was used as a public high school until 1959, and then as an elementary school until 1973. It remained empty until the William King Foundation was incorporated in 1979 to renovate the building into an art center, which opened its doors in 1980. Piecemeal renovations proceeded until 1989, when the legacy trustees of the Abingdon Male Academy gifted the property and all its buildings, subject to existing leases, to William King Regional Art Center. The Art Center closed its doors for a major renovation project in 1989 and reopened as a museum in 1992. The museum went through a second phase of renovations, mainly to the third floor in 1996. The museum was accredited in 2004 and changed its name to William King Museum in 2009. Today, known as William King Museum of Art, we have five galleries which showcase national and international fine art, art from our cultural heritage, contemporary regional art, local artists, and student work. We also house five studio artists, have four classrooms for adult and student learning, and created an education outreach program called Van Gogh, now in its 14th year. We bring arts education to the Southwest Virginia school districts. Many of these students otherwise would have no exposure to the visual arts.